Hola soy Eli and Amigos. And we just saw La Llorona. Jerry, and we got a new face. Introduce yourself. Jonathan. And yeah, this movie's, uh, you know, explain what the movie's about, like the folklore and what it is. Spanish. Boom. Buenas noches. Este. Tengo miedo. Tengo miedo. Si, sí, senor. Tengo miedo. No, explain what the movie's like about, like the, the description first. Okay. Like, it's about. Um, in English or Spanish? No, in English. What's the character about? Okay, so this is a, a, legend, a legend story about a evil spirit that comes from Mexico that years back she killed her own kids and this evil spirit happens to haunt other kids that in later on in time and the but movie. the way it goes is with this specific movie it is followed by the conjuring universe so there's going to be a lot of relations um a lot of if you're a conjuring fan you're going to see a lot of stuff from the other movies um reference into this movie um if you've seen the nun annabelle or the conjuring yourself series you'll find a lot of references in this movie and like i said it's about an evil spirit and if you misbehave but you're not going to get you okay. let's leave it to that so who want to get their opinion first you can't spoil it any opinion your opinion first i'm gonna get in spanish first um tengo miedo um tengo miedo si sí, señor tengo miedo esta película Viene de la serie Conjuro, pero tengo miedo. Yo he visto muchas películas de terror, pero tengo miedo. Uh, yo, yo les digo, muy buena película. Si eres fanático de la serie Conjuro, con Annabelle y todas esas películas, esta película es muy perfecta para la tradición mexicana y para los, tra uh, para los países latinoamericanos. E and back to English. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> I, don't scared. worry, I learned how to bleep stuff now. You can cuss. <laughs> One cuss I'm word. Scared. I am scared. I'm scared like crap. Listen, I've seen a lot of scary movies in my life. And top two, I, I I'll say, is La Llorona and Us. I cannot emphasize this stronger. Now, this is officially the scariest movie I've seen in my life. Seriously, why? Because my parents told me when I was a kid, if you misbehave, La Llorona is going to get you. And I saw a movie about it, and I'm still scared as a grown, a grown man, 20-year-old man. I'm still scared of this woman. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Perfect movie. Conjuring, listen, the trailer sucked, but the Conjuring did a really good job. Maybe the side effects wasn't that good, but I'm telling you, the plot twist and the oh, jump yeah, scares like the there's a lot of plot twists a lot of jump scares and a lot of references to mexican traditions so you'll get a lot of that in there <laughs> <laughs> okay spanish and english doesn't matter it's speaking english Both. okay okay <gasps> no, <sorry. laughs> okay so you guys i'm scared i'm shaking um i just want to go and pray <laughs> to Jesus, um, because it was it was a really scary movie, but it was a it was a good movie, but it was a scary movie. Um, just for reference, guys, if you don't want to be embarrassed by your girlfriends, don't bring your don't, girlfriends. Don't don't no. Because um, you don't. will definitely jump. You will definitely be like a little girl. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a good movie. But I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna pray. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is a, a, a pretty good movie. I liked it way better than The Nun. Like, oh, I liked it way yes. better than The Nun. Yes. And uh, the movie is scary, but it seems like it relies a lot on jump scares. Like, mm -hmm. but the way it does jump scares, they do it in creative. They do it in too. creative ways of jump scares instead of just like the regular jump yes. scares. So that's what makes it scary. Like all of a sudden, like okay, something's about to jump, and you like think it's going to jump like the regular jump scare. Then it jumps a different way. You're like, oh, okay, <laughs> and just. I haven't screamed in a, watching a horror movie before. I scream watching it. <laughs> I scream, I scream We're watching it. Oh, oh. We're holding each other's hands. Yeah, the, you know. All the people in the theater, they was like, oh. They was like, mm-mm. 
But so. the characters was acting stupid, like in all horror movies. They was <laughs> acting stupid. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm going to tell you this. Don't have kids. No. <laughs> don't have no. kids. No, no, no. Listen. Just don't you, have kids. If your kid misbehaves a lot, take them to watch this movie. That's what be perfect. I think there was a kid in there yeah, watching. No, exactly. I think there was a kid was in a there kid. watching. There was a kid in there. <laughs> there was a kid watching in there. Yes. And uh, what's his name? I really like Raphael. That uh, the oh. dude. Mm-hmm. I, I really liked him. He was yeah, a really he good was, actor. He in that was movie. really good. I really um, liked him. The the um, let me tell you the female um, little girl. For her age, that's a lot of good acting, not going to lie. Like, her getting drowned, her getting all that traumatized. That's a lot of great acting for that little girl. I'm just saying, for a young age, good acting, not going to lie. And where you rank this in with, with the Conjuring movies? Oh, this is the top one of the list. Top maybe one. because of, maybe because of, like, the, like, what my, the storytelling of what I had for my personal uh, family and everything, but... For me personally, this is a top rated and all the Conjuring series. So this is a Hispanic movie for Hispanics to go see it? Oh, most definitely. I mean, it, it, it follows a lot of Mexican traditions, but it's very Americanized. It's still a very Americanized, but it follows a lot of Mexican traditions. So, yeah. Any other things to say? So you, you give it the thumbs up? You give it a thumbs up? I'll give it a go. It's a good horror movie. You give it a thumbs up? So recommend everyone to see it? Yeah. Go see it. Like, comment, subscribe, and yeah. Do what you gotta do. Peace out. Oh. She's behind you. <laughs> <laughs>